sorry. I'm so sorry. I love you so much. I love you so much. It's good to hear your voice again. Kept you in the dark. Try to save her. I couldn't. You don't have to say any more. Fuck <laughs> man. You need to fix his cupid. I couldn't save our child, but you can save our world. Only you. I love you. You hear me? Forever. And always. Now, make the world whole. Okay? Just like you make me. that she went through. I had no idea. I thought... I thought she'd severed our bond on purpose, that she stole our child and ran. I fixed your cupid like she asked. The limiter should be functioning properly now. There is one thing. Before I sat down to work, I took a long, hard look at the code. I'm pretty sure someone's tweaked it. Either that, or my memory's going to pieces. Someone rewrote your code? Rewrote might be overstating it. Let's just say it wasn't the latest version I released. And yet, because of it, I was finally reunited with Malingan. Could be we found our culprit already. She died beneath the rubble, with our child still inside her. Her ka passed over to the other side, but her ha remained bound to our dead daughter. She knew all of this, of course. That's why she kept one cuff loose. Didn't want anyone seeing her vitals. Shame she couldn't use her favorite invention. She did all that to keep me and our daughter safe. Sis? I can hear you. We're whole again. We're, We're one. one. Like before.
before in the womb, remember? Lincoln. Hockman. Thanks to you, Edgenot City is finally within reach. And you, Lachna, your work will help ensure that the Chiron Network remains online. Together, we might just make it all the way west. Now then, Sam, there's something else you ought to know. We've been studying the data from when you claim you encountered those soldiers. We had audio, which doesn't paint a complete picture on its own, but... The languages, the names and terms we picked out, the munitions we could identify. Everything seems to indicate that you were on a battlefield over a hundred years ago. World War I, to be precise. It wasn't a dream. Wasn't a hallucination. Maybe you were spirited away to another dimension or something. And given the time discrepancies, maybe you were sent to a beach. Can't say anything for certain. That said, I, I've never heard of a beach turned into a battlefield. But beaches are shaped by the will of the people who inhabit them. Perhaps Hartman can offer a more rational explanation. Beaches are his specialty. Unfortunately, he's still outside the chiral network. Anyway, get some rest. No use dwelling on questions we can't answer yet.